It's the best time of the year, not in Finland. We're gonna get some waffles. We're just living day by day. Hey guys, it's your girl Anna and welcome to another Tootsie Blabber video. Today I'm gonna be talking about third lockdown in Finland. I'm not gonna focus on numbers, I'm not gonna talk about pandemic, but I have to say that this third lockdown felt the hardest so far. And I'm gonna tell you first the reasons why it felt so hard and then at the end I'm gonna share with you my thoughts on what I think we could all do together to make it as less as possible stressful. So the first thing on the list is just simply springtime. Everyone would think like, ooh, springtime, it's the best time of the year. Yes, exactly, it's the best time of the year. Not in Finland. No offense, Finns, I'm sure you all love it because you all enjoy snow so much. But my spring, Croatian spring, is something more like plus 10, plus 15 degrees, barbecues, picnics, butterflies, green grass, bees flying, flowers blooming everywhere, you know, cherry trees. Or let me explain it like this. Spring means that you can read your book without freezing on a park bench. Summer in Finland is what spring in Croatia is to me. And not in Croatia, but I think it's mostly in like 90% of the world. And stuff like that. So absolutely different from this minus two to plus three, snow here, rain there, weather. Anyhow, this is first thing. So we have spring in Finland. And then on top of that, we have pandemic. Okay, let's switch to pandemic. Finnish government made some pretty damn good choices and humans who live in this country were obeying them pretty nicely. Therefore, the pandemic was under control for most of the time. Until now. Well, it's kind of understandable that even for Finns, social distancing could be a bit too much even in pandemic times. So of course that after a while, they wanted to go to bars, restaurants, hang out, meet friends. And all of a sudden, the situation is getting slowly out of control. I would say that we're not completely out of control, but this is again, Finnish government said in time, okay, this is enough, numbers are growing, we're going to a third lockdown. And here we are. What I really wanna highlight in this video, and not just talking about negative stuff. So there was this spring and there was this pandemic and stuff. What you can do to help yourself and others feel better. What we've been doing for the last, I think, half a year, we've been helping one of our neighbors on a weekly basis. We have this one 82-year-old grandma living next door. She lives alone, her family is far away. We noticed it and then we just started knocking on her door, bringing her lunch, bringing her desserts that we've made, or making Christmas decorations for her, Christmas little gifts. And then she made it to us. She started bringing us, you know, small little gifts. We found out that she also has celiac disease like me. She's also on a gluten-free diet. And she's been also sending us, giving us some bread that she baked or delicious desserts and stuff like that. And what we noticed from the situation is that it really brought her some kind of security, little happiness in her life. And it also made us happy. The other thing that we've been doing, we try to support small businesses as much as possible because they're in a desperate need of our help. So instead of going to big chains and ordering food from big chain restaurants, we started ordering food from a small cafeteria, small bakeries and so on. We're gonna get some waffles. We are going to the city center, we just called Waffle Place, it's called Happy Waffle. We just asked them, uh, are they open because of the lockdown? And they said that they are. We asked, how does it go? Because we haven't ordered anything basically since the lockdown started. And they just said that uh, we can come there, we can order, and then we have to just wait outside in front of the Happy Waffle Place. And then after that, we just get in and then pick up more food. So I'm really happy and excited because all of their waffles are gluten-free uh, and uh, yeah, with the celiac it's, I mean, a win-win for both of us. Ready for happy waffles! 
Happy Waffle Helsinki's story began in November 2017, when the owners, a couple, established a pop-up cafe in Ulanlinda, Helsinki. Their pop-up cafe was scheduled to run until the end of 2017, but their customers loved their dessert so much that their small pop-up cafe turned into a permanent store, which can nowadays be found in Helsinki city center. I've heard such a great reviews from so many friends, but for some reason never ended up visiting their lovely cafe. When I went to check out their page and realized that even celiac organization approves this place, I was like, this is the place to have our next dessert. Hello. Hello. Are you here for the first time? Yes. Okay. Are you looking for waffles? Yes. Okay. Are you thinking of sweets or savory ones? Um, Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Yes. Uh, one will be the Nutella with banana one. I don't know the name of it, but that's a lot Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then the second Perfect. one, I don't know. That the second one will be for me, so I'm gonna just pick probably something from the from yeah. the. So uh, the one for me has to be gluten free. Yeah. For sure. Actually, all of our waffles are here gluten free. Yeah. So. Okay. So those will be automatically, but we do have like some fillings, oh, like so nice. we have one ice cream flavor that is like that has uh, gluten in it, okay. but it's like, yeah, it's automatically. I recommend to go with something more simple at the first time. So here. classic? Uh, maybe classic, yeah, it has uh, jam, strawberry jam and whipped cream. Classic it is. Um, how has it been working during the COVID now, during pandemic? And how this third lockdown affected your business? The third one actually have been like the most adventurous one. Okay, how so, come? Uh, I don't know because I think it's I think the situation is worse now than last spring. Also like last spring people were like maybe a little bit excited about the uh, quarantining and ordering home and it was new for some people but like now that people are used to the situation in my opinion maybe people are just like there is way more people unemployed and everything so you can definitely affect it in your business yes yes mm -hmm. definitely now we're like in a situation that we don't we don't know how it's gonna end and when it's gonna end so it's just now like living day by day we are trying our best like we're working here from Thursday to Sunday and making some takeaway portions just to keep our name like somewhere where you can see us so people won't like forget about us. Uh, before the lockdown like on February we had good sales here people were excited to come here but yes it changed completely because of that situation at the moment. Have you thought about closing at any point or are you still hanging in there? We thought about it because we had like the last fall was very hard and we, we didn't get all of the supports from the, the government that we thought we could get and it's been very hard uh, but now we actually have this this kind of a group funding which is Mesenati so we had a lot of support from our friends and from our customers so that's gonna like buy us some more time and we're actually uh, going to invest this uh, food truck uh, for the summer. Oh my so, god, that's awesome! Yeah, so we can like take waffles like safely where people are living. Wow, that's, that's beautiful. Be, yes. I I cross my fingers. So probably that will be the the thing that will save us. And the vaccines, and then the pandemic ending, and everything will yeah, save you. Yeah, hopefully, mm. hopefully that happens soon because so many restaurants have been closing already. Following lockdown rules, I had to wait outside a cafe for my order. It must be crazy hard for small businesses. Please support local businesses, guys. Just under their floor is a metro station, usually full of people. And now everything is empty. It just breaks my heart. Happy Waffles customer service is so kind. The place is super clean. Their waffle options are endless and basically the saddest part of their happy story is that their whole cafe is empty. My waffles were ready in just a couple of minutes. There you go. Perfect. This is my little piece of art also. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh my god. Thanks 
so much. Love you guys and good luck. Wish you all the best and I really hope that the truck thing goes through. Thank you. Okay, have thanks. A good you too, bye. really spooky to walk these hallways, you know, there's like absolutely no one here. It's sad uh, what the world turned into. Sometimes I still wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, oh my God, is this really happening? And it's been a year of, of this pandemic already. It's like, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But I'm really happy we're able to support local businesses as much as we can. So I really hope you guys can support them too. Started snowing, but I have happy waffle to make me happy. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Finnish spring slash cold snowy weather is not really helping at all third lockdown, but there are many things that can help you and others feel better in this situation, and this is one of them. We were so excited with our happy waffles. We couldn't wait to come home and try them. Can't wait to try my happy waffle. delicious waffle and now we're coming to the most important thing to me and I think to everyone in the world and this should be beyond pandemic you know this should be something that everyone is doing forever it's simply to take care of yourself first we've been always thinking about others how to please others but what you actually need to do is think about yourself and take care of yourself and how can you do that what we started doing we started meditating working out and eating healthy every single day. If you haven't been meditating ever, it might be an abstract word, but don't be afraid of it. There are many, many ways how you can meditate. For example, I have my own ways of how I'm meditating, but Yanni has been meditating through the mindfulness app. It's a great app. I'm also listening it before sleep sometimes together with him. It's a great way of, you know, calming your mind. Second thing, working out. I hate working out. I really, really hate working out. Hate is probably wrong word, but that's how I at the moment feel. I don't like working out. I've never liked working out. I've been always passive with workouts because I used to dance a lot. So I was kind of like passively working out. You can't say passively. I was like, you know, working out without knowing that I'm working out. And now when I'm not dancing, I'm like, what can I do? I have to do something with my body because I feel it, you know, I, I have back pain, I'm, I can't sleep well, uh, I have headaches. So workouts really, really help. I've been now working out for three or four months, every single week, and it just made a huge change in my life. How I do it? I turn TV on, I put YouTube on TV, and then I watch Mad Fit channel. I tried all kinds of workouts, but Mad Fit is really my fit. I really like how she's doing her videos. They're like 20, 30 minute workouts from home. We go with the flow and we work out together and I'm pretty happy with her workouts. Third thing, eat healthy. We've been trying to cook for two or three days in advance. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does, but it does really help because then you don't have to cook every single day. We've been also ordering from small businesses, from small restaurants, and that also always brought us some joy and happiness. At the end of this video, it wasn't much about third lockdown in Finland, it was more about how you can help yourself go through the lockdown as easy as possible, because it really sucks. 
We're all in this together. We're all gonna get out of this together. Remember, try to take care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself, you're not gonna be able to take care of your life, your work, your friends, nothing. I hope this video was helpful, even if to one human being, it makes me very, very happy. Stay safe, stay warm, meditate, eat healthy, work out, and see you in the next video. Bye guys, love you.